Praise the Lord. We can be seated. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory. Greet your neighbor, your immediate neighbor. Say hi to them. Praise the Lord. Turn to them and smile to them. Hallelujah. Tell them, have you seen my beautiful smile? Tell them I'm the most beautiful person on this planet Earth. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Everything is beautiful. When it comes to beauty. Everything is man. Everything is man. When it comes to to sex, I don't know why. Praise the Lord. I have to say he and she. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's our quarter of watching and praying. That's our quarter. Mm. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Watching Hallelujah. and praying. Hallelujah. To watch in the spirit and praying in the spirit. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is from October to December 31st. Hallelujah. We are going to go to our scriptures. Philippians chapter number 1 verse 11. Amplified version. Do we have amplified version in Uganda? Most likely. Because they have seen their different versions. Eh? Praise the Lord, Sister Susan. Praise the Lord. Tumwe Luganda, tumwe Luzung. Luzung. Hallelujah. I got your Luganda now. I never do some Luganda. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You know she knows how to read Luganda. Mm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay. We need we need a, a, a second mic, but it is well. Praise the Lord. No, sister, sister Rachel, you can stay. Okay. You can stay. Praise the Lord. English. Yeah, she will help us with English. Whoever Praise the Lord. And has all the versions you give her. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, we come to church to study. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Philippians 11. Philippians 1 11. Are we there? Yes, uh, Sister Susan, you can help us. Philippians 1.11 yeah. Filled with the fruit of righteousness which come through Jesus Christ to the glory and praise of God. 
so that his glory may be both revealed and recognized. Come again. Filled with the fruit of righteousness which comes through Jesus Christ to the glory and praise of God so that his glory may be both revealed and recognized. Praise the Lord. Wow, that's a wonderful version. But it seems to be amplified. You know, there is amplified class and amplified, I think. Praise the Lord. But the point is they are filled with the fruit of righteousness. So this was Apostle Paul praying for the church at Philip. That they may be filled with the fruits fruits of righteousness. Praise the Lord. If Apostle Paul prayed for the church at Philip to be filled with the fruits of righteousness, it means it's possible to be filled with the fruits of righteousness. Praise the Lord. Likewise, if God wants us to be, to walk righteously, it means we have the ability to walk in righteousness. Praise the Lord. God cannot demand something from you that you don't have. Praise the Lord. If God ever asks for, let me say, tithe. It means you have tithe. If God ever tells you to love your neighbor, it means you have love. And you have the ability to love. Praise the Lord. God is not, uh, God is God. Praise the Lord. So, if the Spirit of the Lord can pray through Apostle Paul that the church at Philip might be filled with the fruits of righteousness. It is possible to be filled with the fruits of righteousness. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Fruits of righteousness. Praise the Lord. Before we go further, there's a scripture I'm trying to remember. God made us so that He can demand those very things from us. So that he might demand that very thing he has made us. Uh, first Corinthians, right? Five twenty-one or second. Five Corinthians five twenty-one. Praise the Lord. 1 Corinthians 5.21 He has made us so that we might walk that which he has made us. Are we there? The English version first. Oh, that means it's 2 Corinthians. 2 Corinthians. Any version. Any version. Praise the Lord. Second Corinthians chapter five, verse twenty-one says, "He made Christ, He made Christ who knew no sin, to judicially be sin on our behalf, so that in Him we 
would become the righteousness of God, that is, we would be made acceptable to him and placed in a right, a right relationship with him by his gracious loving kindness. Praise the Lord. Jesus became sin. Yes, we are for KTV that we might become the righteousness of God. Praise the Lord. If anyone is, every, every person that is born again is the righteousness of God. Praise the Lord. Every person that gets born again becomes the righteousness of God. Praise the Lord. In the Old Testament, under Moses, it was the Lord demanding righteousness from sinners. It was not God. Praise the Lord. Under the New Testament, under the leadership of Jesus Christ. Jesus demands righteousness from saints. Praise the Lord. How do the Catholics call the saints those who went to heaven? Right? Mm. right? Mm. Okay. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Um, so now God made us the right, his own righteousness so that he demands the righteousness from us. Praise the Lord. Have, I, have, have you understood that? So we don't, we don't do good works to become righteous. We do good works because we are righteous. Praise the Lord. We don't do good works to become holy. We do them because we are. The Spirit of God cannot dwell in a dirty place. And your body is the temple of God. That means your body is set apart. That means your body is holy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Have you had have you had men have you had preachers say that this place is holy? It's because it's it's holy. Because that's this is where we come and worship God. But now God says He does in your body. Then your body is holy. It is set apart for God. And God lives in your body. Your body is holy. You guys are used to people say, Your body is dirty, your bum, 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 praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God does not dwell in dirty places. He dwells in your body. Now, you are in the body. That means your body is clean. It is in your body. Your body is set apart. Your body is set apart. If you understand that, you will respect your body. <laughs> There's one why people don't respect their bodies. 
is because they don't know that their bodies are holy. Praise the Lord. If I bring a, a 1,000 knot and a 50,000 knot you will esteem them differently because you know the value of a 50,000. Praise the Lord. So if you know the value of your body, you will esteem it. Someone say amen. Praise the Lord. So that's why it is possible to be filled with the fruits of righteousness. Because we are the righteousness of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Then I, I, it, it reminds me of a scripture of um, Ephesians chapter 4 verse 24 most likely. Chains jukiza all nididu abefesu isulanya 24, verse 24. Ephesians 4, 24. It's such a blessing to be born again. You become whole immediately. God lives in you. Wow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You become the embassy of God. Hallelujah. Are we there? We can read. Ephesians 4.24. I hope it is the one. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 24. And put on the new self, the regenerated and renewed nature. God, excuse me. And put on the new self, the regenerated and renewed nature created in God's image in the righteousness and holiness of the truth living in a way that expresses to God your gratitude for your salvation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One more time. Ephesians 4.24 Amplified can be long and yet amplified. Uh, 24 on the new self, the regenerated and renewed nature, created in God's image, God-like, in the righteousness and holiness of the truth, living in a way that expresses to God your gratitude for your salvation. Praise the Lord. Mine says, and put on the new nature, created in in God's image, the new nature, you see? Praise the Lord. Put on the new nature. That means you have a new nature. He's saying, put on the new nature. That new nature is the, the righteous nature. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Can we read it in in Luganda and we hear. Eyo Luganda egamba okwambala omuntu omujja eyatonde ba mukifana nchi akatonda mu butukirivu ne mu butukuvu obwa mazima. Praise the Lord. Read it again. Okwambala omuntu omujja eyatonde ba mukifana nchi akatonda mu butukirivu ne mu butukuvu obwa mazima. This new nature or this new man was created in true righteousness and holiness. And the Bible says if any man be in Christ he is a new creature. That new creature which you became was created in true holiness and righteousness. Praise the Lord. And so God is saying, put 
upon this new man. In other words, make him make make make, make him manifest. Praise the Lord. So you don't do the right works. So become, you do them because you are praise the Lord hallelujah. hallelujah so apostle Paul is praying for the church at Philip that he might be filled with the fruits of righteousness hallelujah praise the Lord did you know that we are the trees of righteousness planted by the Lord to produce fruits of righteousness. Praise the Lord. One more time. Did you know that we are the trees of righteousness planted by the Lord to produce fruits of righteousness? We trees of righteousness. We are not trees of sin. Praise the Lord. We are trees of righteousness. Praise the Lord. Say I am a tree of righteousness. I am a tree of righteousness. Planted by the Lord. To produce fruits of righteousness. Amen. Isaiah 61 verse 3. Isaiah 61 verse 3. Isaiah 61 verse 3. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am a tree of righteousness. Planted by the Lord. Ooh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is how we pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is how we pray. Are we there? We can read Isaiah 61, verse 3. 61 verse 3 to console those who mourn in Zion to give them the planting of the Lord that he may be glorified. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are the trees of righteousness. And we are the planting of the Lord. We are not planted by men. We are planted by God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. First Corinthians chapter number three, verse nine. Oh, let's read the Luganda version of that sixty-one three. Egamanti, Amafuta agokusanyuka mchifo chokuna kuwala. Echambalo chokute ndereza mchifo chomu oyo ogukungu baga. Bali okeba itibwe e, miti jobu tu kilivu mukama jia simba. Bali oke awebwe ichitiwa ye. Praise the Lord. Mukama yeba ziwe. <laughs> Do you know what it means to be planted by God? 
Omani chichitegeza oksimbi wa mukama. Praise the Lord. Mukama iba zupi. Wow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are planted by the Lord. Twasimbi wa mukama. Praise the Lord. Mukama iba zupi. We are the planting of the Lord. Twasimbi wa mukama. All right, let's go to 1 Corinthians 3:9. Praise the Lord. Come here, verse 2. 1 Corinthians 3:9. If we are there, we can read it. First Corinthians 3:9. Yes. For we are God's fellow workers. You are God's field, you are God's building. We are God's fellow workers. We are God's field. Yes, sir. We are God's field. Agamba nti kubanga katonda tuliba kozi tuliba kozi banne muli nimiro ya katonda muli nimiro ya katonda muli nyumba ya katonda muli nimiro ya katonda Apostle was saying, we are God's fellow workers, you are God's field. For example, yeah, muli nimiro, praise the Lord. That means to be a nimiro ya katonda. Do you know what it means to be the garden of the Lord? The field praise of the, the Lord. Lord. It means God wakes up every day and tends it. That's what it means. Imagine you planting your garden. Spending all your money. And you sleep. And you don't visit it. I don't think there is such a farmer. Imagine God. Calling you his own garden whether he, he sleeps a farmer thinks about his garden every day because that's his business in the present day Kampala world would say a God is business a God is business you are God's shop. He wakes up every day. To come and check on you. And sits in the business. And waits for the clients. To buy you. Hallelujah. You understand? That's God to you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. How do people buy you? By being blessed. By favoring you. Praise the Lord. So you are God's shop. You are God's stall in a marketplace. Praise the Lord. In other words, he thinks about you. Which kind of farmer doesn't want their garden to prosper? Which kind of a businessman doesn't want his shop to prosper? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God is saying you are his business. Praise the Lord. Don't, do you realize this takes away these statements of people saying, I think God forgot about me. You start, you, 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 you stop questioning God. God, where were you? Because it is 
asking God, where were you? Oh, God forgot me is... Uh, let's interpret that. God is forgetful. That's a slap. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So in other words, God can never forget us. Nor forsake us. Praise the Lord. We are his planting. We are his field. We are his business. He wakes up every day to attend to us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are like a tree planted on the riverside. Praise the Lord. Psalms 1 3. We might not read it. Anyway, we can. We can. Let's read it. We are like a tree planted on the riverside. Psalms 1 3. Sule bariga zukato yalamande. Psalms 1 3. Yes. You shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth its fruits in its season, whose leaf also shall not wither, and whatever he does shall prosper. Wow. One more time. You shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth its fruit in its season whose leaf also shall not wither, and whatever he does shall prosper. That's God's business. You know, we are trees of righteousness. And this, these trees, we are planted on the riverside. The river is the Holy Ghost in you. He says, out of your bellies, shall flow rivers of living waters. Praise the Lord. By so saying, signifying the Holy Spirit in you. Praise the Lord. So we've been planted on the riverside. This river is the Holy Ghost in us. And the Holy Spirit is saying that because we are planted on the riverside which is the Holy Ghost we shall produce fruits in season and out of season. Praise the Lord. Let's read in the Luganda version. Agamanti praise the lord our leaves cannot wither because we are planted on the riverside. Praise the Lord. You see, when He tells you to produce fruit, He has given you the ability to produce them. Because you are planted on the riverside, which is the Holy Spirit in you, the Holy Spirit makes you produce fruit all the time. Praise the Lord. So that's someone title today is fruits of righteousness. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Bible says He has given us all things 
pertaining to life and godliness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He has given us all things. At what the Vulichimu pertaining to life and godly. So he has given us the river of life. Which is the Holy Spirit in us. Which does not allow our leaves to wither. So we are always green. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know why Christians speak contradictory statements? It's because they don't understand the word. Praise the Lord. Think about when you sense a withering of your leaves. You go to the river. Maybe you, you deepen your roots. So that, so that the roots can, you know, take enough food. To avoid withering. Praise the Lord. So we have everything that required to live a godly life. Praise the Lord. What's that scripture? It's in Peter's. That he has given us all things that pertain to life and godliness. Second Peter 1 3. Second Peter 1 3. Fruits of righteousness. Hallelujah. Wow. I prepared a big message. I've not even moved a quart of water. I prepared. Praise the Lord. Second Peter 1 3. If we are there, we can read. As his divine power, as as his divine power has given to us all things that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of him who called us by glory and virtue. As his divine power has given, one more time. As his divine power has given us all things that pertain to life and, and godliness, through the knowledge of him who called us by glory and virtue. As his divine power he has, has given us all things. Not some. All things. Praise the Lord. Let's hear the Luganda version. What does it mean? Praise the Lord, all things. Read it again. Kubanga obuyinza Boba Katonda Boyatua Bionna Bionna Bionne Biobulam. So God gave us when you get born again. God gives you everything you ever require that you need to live a godly life. All those things are in your spirit. They are not in the physical. Because you can be asking. But Papa, 
all things. Where is Daka? Praise the Lord. All things. That's the plot of land. No, no, God is not physical. God is He gives spiritual things. And, be, and, and that's because we are also spirits. He gives us spiritual things. Praise the Lord. So God has given us all things. Pertaining to life and godliness. Hallelujah. And is, it is, the, it is the, the will of the Father for his children to bear fruits of righteousness. Wow. I'm still thinking about, you know I'm preaching, but I'm preaching to myself. I'm still thinking about being planted by the Lord. Who can come in your garden? Who can come and steal in, God, in God's garden? Who can come and steal in God's garden? Who can come and displace you? Because the earth and all his fullness and all his fullness belongs to God. Imagine he has a garden and you are his. Which rich man can come and buy you off? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Am I building some faith? Let me proceed because for me it has caught me. I just want to stay there. Praise the Lord. We are the planting of the Lord. No one can displace us. We are the planting of the Lord. We are the planting of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. It is God's perfect will for you to bear much fruit. Remember our sermon title is Fruits of Righteousness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Philippians 1.11 is what we read. Philippians 1.11 is what we read. Uh, it shows us that it is possible to be filled with the fruits of righteousness. If it was impossible, Apostle Paul wouldn't have prayed it. Praise the Lord. So every prayer point of Apostle Paul in scriptures it was the will of the spirit by then for the church amen amina remember scripture does not expire scripture is eternal it is the same prayer from the spirit of god concerning you praise the lord that you might be filled with the fruits of righteousness <laughs> praise the lord Colossians 1 9 9 to 10 Hallelujah
Colossians 1, 9 to 10. Are we there? Colossians 1, chapter 1, verse 9. For this reason we also, for this reason we also, since that day we had it, do not cease to pray for you and to ask that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will in, in all wisdom and spiritual understanding, that you may walk worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing him, being fruitful in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God. Being fruitful in every good work, you see. <laughs> it's possible to be fruitful praise the Lord one more time English version this was Apostle Paul praying for the church at Kolos for this reason we also since the day we had it, do not cease to pray for you and to ask that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding, that you may walk worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing him and being fruitful in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God. And being fruitful in every good work. You can have good works. Also, Kuban Nebi Kolwebirunji. And not, being, and not be fruitful. So, Apostle Paul was praying for the church that their good works may be fruitful. Praise the Lord. So, this, uh, um, let's read in Luganda and we see. In Luganda, Gamba, Nafe, Chetuvate Tuleka, Yo, Okuva Kulunaku, Bwe Twa Ulida, Okuva Sabida, Nokube Gaidida Murioke, Mujuziwe, Okutege Ranga, Biayagala, Mumagezi, Gona, Noktegera, Ibio Moyo, Okutambulanga, Ngab. Chisanida, Mukamawa Fe, Uroxi Mibakuna, Ngamubalanga Ebibara, Mubuli Chikura, Echirunji, Iranga, Mukuliranga, Mukutegera, Katonda. Praise the Lord, Mukama Eva Zibu, Namubalanga Ebibara, Mubikola, Mubikura, Ebirunji. Praise the Lord, Mukama Eva Zibu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Being fruitful in every good work. Hallelujah. Life is spiritual first. And then physical. So every message, every preaching you hear address your inner man. And that's where the Lord born again Christians have missed it. When you hear bearing fruit being fruitful you know not withering what comes to your mind is your business not failing is your marriage not having issues is your academics having nine plus uh, praise the Lord that's okay 
Chirunji. That's okay. But not the fruits. Nebio Sibibala. The Bible is talking about. Yet, yes, though the physical fruits that come from the real fruits. Praise the Lord. If you don't know how you should function, you will not make it in life. Praise the Lord. God does not produce money. God is a spirit. God doesn't produce houses. Though they are not fruits. Yet they are part of a, they, are, they are a proof of bearing fruit. Praise the Lord. They are proof. Eh? Mm. Yet they are not a proof still. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because you can't tell me that a missionary in China undercover is not bearing fruit. Praise the Lord. And you, because for you, you don't have anyone persecuting your gospel. You you put your your jeep. No toale motoka yo jeep yo. Open roof. Open roof. And you stand out. No, no, and you start preaching. No, and you think you're bearing more fruit. No, lo, zanti, ori kubale, vivala, than a missionary in China. Every single your means and your limit. Under persecution. Do you understand? Praise the Lord. Like I was telling people, I was sharing with Mama Vincent. Mama. That an African to tell me that God told him to go and start a church in Sweden. I have questions about that. You know that is bearing fruit? Because Sweden is a better place. And then someone tells you, God sent me to change to start a church. That one is not bearing fruit. Because Chenjojo, there's no electricity. There's no AC. There's no cable. There's no KFC. There's no Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. That fruits of righteousness. It's, it's, it, they are not physical things. Yet, when you bear these fruits of righteousness, you, you have to have money. No, money becomes the end product. Praise the Lord. When you bear the fruits of righteousness, I mean, life around you becomes wonderful. Praise the Lord. Because you can't tell me that Apostle Peter, Apostle Paul, he was always in prison. And you think he was not bearing fruit. Praise the Lord.
You know, we find a lot of Christians. The guy has a house. Even has a home cell in it. But 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 meeting on. He has a business in he town. A, he has a Prado. And yes. the guy is bearing fruit. Praise the Lord. The guy is bearing fruit. God, why don't you remember us? That Christian doesn't understand God. He's not even a babe. He's still in the womb. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Because the Apostle Paul didn't have a house. Pastor Gary Skinner. Omusumba Gary Skinner. Of Watoto. Wa Watoto. He came to Uganda during war. Yajja mu Uganda ngawali muntalo. He started ministry in Kumi. Na atandiko bwereza mu Kumi. Having nothing. Na taina chaina. Imagine such a life. Loza mu bula mu webutyo. Of not bearing fruit. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So in other words, bearing fruit is not necessarily physical things. Yet bearing these fruits of righteousness brings all these physical things around us. Praise the Lord. Have we understood that? That's why I don't want to speak against some, some things, but uh, all right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I've just shared a quote of what I prepared. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let's end with uh, Galatians chapter number 5 verse something which talks about the fruit of the spirit. Maybe for the first time we are going to have a series. Next time we shall continue from there. Galatians okay. chapter number 5. Please help me. Where is it? The fruit of the spirit. It must be Galatians 5 20? 22. 22. Galatians 5 22. Sile baraga zukatele mandele baga zutaya. Galatians 5:22. Yes. But the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, kindness, goodness, and faithfulness. One more time. But the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness. Praise the Lord. But the fruit of the Spirit. Let's hear the Luganda. Egamba. Nae evibala eviomoyo. Kwe kwa gala. Oksanyuka. Imidembe. Okugumi kiriza. Echisa. Obulunji, okukiriza, obuwombefu, okwegendereza, kubiringa ebyo tewali mateka. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Luganda is uh, that Luganda version. It, it was supposed to be but the fruit, not not bibal. Mm. So all this is one fruit. Inobyo nachibala chimu. But the fruit of the spirit is love. You can't walk in love and be poor. <laughs> because people will always favor you. You know because you walk in love. 
people always stand with you. You see, the problem is not the money. The man, the problem is not walking in love. The, uh, the problem is not the money. The problem is not walking in love. Praise the Lord. Love is the highest weapon of warfare. Because Praise the Lord. If you want to uh, to destroy every enemy around you. Pick out love. It is the last weapon of warfare. But it's a journey. Praise the Lord. Joy. Oksanyuka. Part of this fruit is joy. Is it is this Kusanyuka in that Luganda version? Mm. Praise the Lord. That's why I ask you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But the fruit of the Spirit is love. Hmm. Joy. Oksanyuka. He says, with joy. Agama Oksanyuka. I will draw something out of salvation. What is that? How that scripture says? How is it? With joy. I will draw. Sorry. I'll draw. Dash dash. Wells of salvation. In other words, if someone please look for it, I, I, I just want to see it. Must be in some. With joy. Should look for it. Because I want to, to, to bring a point home. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. JV has words of salvation. You can put in. Anyone who has found it? Isaiah 12.3. Isaiah 12.3. Shile baraba kasutaya. Isaiah 12.3. Three. Isaiah 12 verse 3 oh. they have <laughs> we have gotten another prophet no 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 sorry for that there are four with joy you will draw excuse me there are four with joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation praise the lord Please forgive us. Mumudize. That is our Lord. Praise the Lord. Therefore with joy shall ye draw water out of the wells of salvation. The Luganda version. Gamanti. Chemunavanga musenanga nesanyu amazi munzizi izoblokozi. Praise the Lord. You see, remember the fruit of the spirit was joy. Using joy, you draw water 
from the wells of salvation. Are you guys following me? Joy as a fruit is what we use to draw water from the wells of salvation. Now think about a Christian who is always complaining. Will he, will he or she ever receive salvation? Because with joy, we draw water from the wells of salvation. Praise the Lord. That means the problem is not the money. The problem you have failed to use joy to draw water from the wells of salvation. We tell you, be happy. Be happy for your own salvation. Pastor, you don't know even what I'm going through. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah with joy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That means the fruit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. With joy. You listen to a message. You catch a revelation. You become joyous. And then you draw water no, from the wells of salvation. And then you eventually see the physical manifestation of any physical thing you are praying for. Praise the Lord. So with joy. Woo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You draw water from the wells of salvation. Hallelujah. Don't accept to be unhappy. You'll never see salvation. This is how the kingdom of God works. Praise the Lord. It's too much I wanted to add on that, but the brethren will come back next Sunday. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. With joy. <laughs> it was 12, it was 3, verse 3, right? Therefore, with joy, you, sh you draw water out of the wells of salvation. There are wells, there are many wells of salvation. There are wells of salvation concerning finances. There are wells of, of, of salvation concerning ministry. There are wells of salvation concerning health. Praise the Lord. There are wells of salvation concerning any, anything. But he says with joy we draw the waters from these wells. Unhappy people don't drink from these wells. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I choose to be joyous. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God. There's a situation God is passing through. I was asking him. God. But God. With joy. With joy. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So you must have a revelation of the word of God to walk in joy. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You must have a revelation of the word of God to walk in joy. The reason why many Christians don't have joy 
is because they lack revelation. Revelation is the wow. The physical world it cannot excite you. It's always up and down. This time around the pocket is smiling. Tomorrow the pocket is unhappy. So it, you can't depend on it. This time your body is healthy. After one week the body is not well. So you can't depend on physical things to keep your joy. You can't. The only thing you can depend on is the revelation of Christ. It's always constant. It's eternal. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Avoid to avoid complaining. You will never prosper. In a thing you complain in. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Zukatele baka sukataya. Oh, we are still in Galatians chapter 5:22. Chali kuva Galatia. Sura ya 5. Verse 22. Igamba na ebibala Echivala, echomo yokuwe kwa gala, uksanyuka, yemirembe, ukugumi kiriza, echisa, ubulunji, ukukiriza, ubuombefu, ukwe gendereza, kubiri ingebio, tewali mateka. Praise the Lord. Mkama ibaziwe. And then he talks of peace. Peace is another part of the fruit. So bearing fruit is not <laughs> you can't be you can't be at you can't have peace and you be poor. You can't have peace and you don't walk in health in, in good health someone peace having peace doesn't grow older you see how you effect long life as a, as a promise Praise the Lord. So you can't pray, I speak long life, long life, if you don't bear peace. You cannot walk in long life. Because this peace has something to do with your mortal body. Praise the Lord. If you find someone who is small like me, people start saying, Praise the man Lord. is getting done slowly. Praise the Lord. If you find me when I've added some more weight, that means peace and your well being of the body are linked. Praise the Lord. So, 
as you pray for long life ngo sabira okuwangala kuno know that no what sustains long life manye chiwanirira kuno okuwangala kuno it is the fruit of the spirit kwe che chine chibala echo moyo one of it is peace echimukubyo yemirembe It's not my it's it's not my ladies who speak a lot of peace. Ate na byogera nyo mu Luganda. Abachale basinga kogera mirembe. They usually speak in Luganda. Zena funye nzetu abana nina mirembe. You see me here I have peace. Tonda bakanyirira kanu kenina. Don't you see how I'm shining? Mirembe. Praise the Lord. The peace I have. That means the fruit of the spirit. Echitegeze echibala chine cho moyo has what it does to your body china chechikola kumubiri kwe kuno praise the lord kama yeva zibwe so your labor so okufuba ko it should be to get hold of this fruit of the spirit okufuba ko kwali bade kunyweza chine chibala chine cho moyo praise the lord kama yeva zibwe praise the lord kama yeva zibwe but you cannot know told of it nengo osobala chinyweza through catching the revelation in the word ngo ita mukunyweza kuno kubikulirwa kwe chigambo praise the lord kama ibasi bwe verse 22 then long suffering okumikiriza long suffering okumikiriza Do you know how many people have lost their opportunity because they are not long suffering? Many bantu bameka bafiridwe mikisaji abirwa kubate bagalagumikiriza. You understand? Kwachitegera. Your boss is about to promote you. Mkama wali ali kumbi kukuza bwati. You can't wait longer. Sola kulinda ko. Jukira joli yaita yo. Remember where you are is where he passed through. He's trying to mentor you. Ageza ko kuteka teka But he can't tell you Neta sobola kugamba Kugamba ah Ana gave us a sentence on the entemi These guys are paying little money Let me praise the, the Lord Toina bugumiki that that's long suffering You don't have long suffering So lack of long suffering Obuta bana bugumiki lizabuno Denies you financial prosperity okugagawala denies you good friends nikukuma emikwana emirunji zivanange mikwana najivako may i got tired of friends obera mbuzi buteli akuyamba when you problem no one wants to help you the problem is not the friends obuzi busi mikwana jo the problem you are not suffering obuzi bugwe tokumingiriza a friendly person omuntu omulunji must must show himself friendly i know kwera ganti wa mkwano that's proverbs engero praise the lord kama hiyo so the problem is not the plot of land you want obuzubusiye yo plot yetaka jo yagala you can actually get it even now osolo jifuna ni kati is the lord kama ibaziwe long suffering verse gentleness ichisa ichisa goodness obulunji faith okukiriza meekness obuombe fu temperance okwegendereza praise the lord kama iba zibwe so these are the things bino bye bintu the the world should see in us ensibye ino tulaba mufa balokoli to glorify god basobolo okuwechitiwa katonda wafe praise the lord kama iba zibwe Someone titled Fruits of Righteousness. 
omutwe gwenjiri ya ferero bajita ebibala byobutukirivu we saw that we were made righteous twa twalabye nti twafulwa abatukirivu we are made holy twafulwa abatukuvu the hidden man in us omuntu oyo wo munda ali mufuye created in true righteousness ya, and holiness yatonde ba mu butukirivu no butukuvu obwaddala we have been planted by the lord twasimbiwa katonda on the river side kumabali genzizi which is the holy ghost ye moyo mtukiri which is in us ali mufi so that we may bear fruit sobole okubala ebibala and this fruit is not necessarily money si sente it is this fruit of the holy spirit ne chino ekibale cho moyo mtukiri praise the lord which eventually ne chimala brings the things that we desire che chimala ne chirete bibye twagala Praise the Lord. Mukama ibazwe. Praise the Lord. Mukama ibazwe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am the righteousness of God. Kama ndi butukirivu bwa katonda. I am the righteousness of God. Kama ndi butukirivu bwa katonda. I am the temple of God. Ndi yekalo ya katonda. I am the temple of God. Ndi yekalo ya katonda. My body is set apart. Obubiri gwange gwaulidwa. Bear fruit for Jesus. Obubala ebibala bya Yesu. My body is set apart. Obubiri gwange gwaulidwa. To bear fruit for Jesus. Obubala ebibala my body is set apart my soul is set apart to bear fruit for the holy spirit i am the planting of the lord i am the planting of the lord i am the field of god I am the field of God. I have been planted by God. I have been planted by God. I have been planted by God. Everything about me is planted by God. Everything about me is planted by the Holy Spirit. I am the vineyard of God. I am the field of God. I am the garden of God. I am the garden of God. God is the gardener. God is the gardener. I am the garden. I am the garden. I bear fruit. In season and out of season. I bear fruit. In my seasons. I bear fruit. In my seasons. I bear fruit. In my seasons. I bear fruit. In season out of season. In the name of Jesus. My leaves do my leaves don't wither 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 because i draw waters from the wells of salvation with joy with joy I draw waters from the wells of salvation with joy I draw waters from the wells of salvation name of Jesus with joy I draw waters from the wells of salvation 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 I bear fruit all through the year I bear fruit all through the year I bear fruit all through the year in the name of Jesus my business bears fruit my family bears fruit my academics bear fruit my relationships bear fruit everything about me bears fruit in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of 
Jesus that's the son of the living God I'm planted by God no one can uproot me I'm planted by God no one can uproot me I'm planted by God no one can uproot me I'm planted by God no one can uproot me in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ I'm the work of God I'm the work of God I'm the work of God no one can defeat me I'm the work of God no one can fail me I'm the work of God no one can fail me I'm the work of God no one can fail me come on let's pray together I'm the work of God no one can fail me the planting of God no one can fail me I'm the planting of God no one can uproot me I'm the working of God no one can uproot me I'm the business of God I cannot fail 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 because I'm God's business I'm God's business I'm God's work I'm God's field I am God's field in the name of Jesus the son of the living God in the name of Jesus the son of the living God in the name of Jesus the son of the living God Sile manda rabaga zuka tele baga zuka taya. Sile manda rabaga zuka tele badiga. Sile manda rabaga zuka tele baga zataya. Sile manda rabaga zuta ya raba 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 raba. Everything I do, sile baba raba baba cannot be hindered cannot be stopped because it is the work of God in the name of Jesus my family is the work of God my business is the work of God my ministry is the work of God my cell is the work of God my department is the work of God, is the work of God. Is the work of God. cannot fail I cannot fail ah sule barabaga zuka tele bagazuta sile marabaga zuka takamo sile manda rabaga zuka taya rababa sile manda rabaga zuka tele bagazata my children cannot fail because they are the work of God. Sile mambra rabaga zuta ya raba, zika tele baga zuka taya raba. Sile man, I attract friends. I attract friends because I'm friendly. I attract friends because I walk in love. I attract friends because I walk in long suffering. I walk in long suffering. I walk in meekness. I walk in long suffering. I walk in faith. Sile makata ya raba 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 raba. Sikatele bara 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 bara. I walk in love. I walk in joy. I walk in peace. I walk in long suffering. I walk in faith. I walk in misery. I walk in temperance. I walk in gentleness. Because I walk in love. I walk in divine health. Because I walk in love. I I walk in peace. Zile manda. Because I walk in love. I don't have enemies. Kayara 
Zile manda rabaga zukataya. Because I walk in love, I'll never pray for my enemies. Because no man walks in love. And their enemies survive. Hallelujah. Zile manda rabaga zukataya raba. Zeketele baga zukatele barabaga zukataya. Zile baraga zakataya raba raba raba. We can give in as we as we pray. Sile makatele brada gazuka tele bagazuka taya raba. Sile bagazuka tele manda raba gazuka tele bradiga. Sile manda our seeds are blessed. Mara bara bara they bear fruit. Sile makataya raba our seeds bear fruit. Sile manda raba gazuka taya raba. Sile manda raba gazuka tele bagazuka. Zile mande le baga zuka tele manda. Come on, let's speak in other tongues. Zile baga, let's speak to God. Zile manda in line with what we have shared. Zile bara 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 bara. Zika tele manda, riga zuka tele manda. Zile mara baga zuka taya. Zile bara baga zuka taya. We bear fruits of righteousness. 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 Sile barabaga sukata ya rabarababa. Sile barabaga sukata ya rabarababa. Sile manda rabaga sukata ya. Everything we do bears fruit. Everything you do shall bear fruit. Everything you do shall bear fruit. Come on, receive it. Everything you do shall bear fruit. 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 Everything you do bear fruit. Everything you do shall bear fruit. Every good work of you shall bear fruit. Every good work in you shall bear fruit. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Your business bears fruit. Your academics bears fruit. Your marriage bears fruit. Your children bear fruit. Your department in ministry bears fruit. Your cell bears fruit. Your church bears fruit. Everything around you bears fruit. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. 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 The Son of the Living God. In the name of Jesus. 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 We have prayed. Amen. Come on, let's appreciate the Holy Spirit. Sile bara 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 bara. Sikatele bara bara. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you.
mercies of the Lord be with you this week. May the favor of God go with you. In the name of Jesus. May the protection of God be with you. May the voice of God be with you. You shall know what to do. When to do it. And how to do it. In Jesus name. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you for coming. We have new members. Praise the Lord. It's worth to ask if it is your first time. To be a member. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Praise the Lord. From Naweru Cell. And from uh, which cell? UH. Makai University. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I thought there was Chikoni Cell. <laughs> that opened a branch. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So cells are always every week. Hey, be out of every week. Please be part. And the service starts at 10. With prayer. You don't need to miss out the prayer session. Hallelujah. I'm waiting. I was looking for a scripture which allows the pastor to discipline late comers. I fail to see it. Praise the Lord. It's not there. Otherwise, thank you for coming. May the grace 